Charles I'm gonna show you the Douglas house. Come on, man. All right. My name is Gregory Morton, and I own Douglas House, Baltimore City. <laughs> so we're inside of Douglas House. Um, I've done uh, quite a considerable amount of work to, you know, uh, renovate the place. Um, the exposed uh, brickwork was already started by the previous owner. I just had to finish it out and clean it up. Morton, who has a background in financing, was looking for a property with a particular profile. I was actually looking in this state and other states for a property um, of African American uh, historical culture that I could, you know, possibly build a community around. The Baltimore native used his Morehouse College education to leverage the purchase. I was able to do it um, in kind of an elegant way. So I did a 203K, right? And I'm not sure if people are familiar with that, but a 203K is just a, a renovation loan. It's like you get the uh, purchase price of the home itself, and then you do um, a comparative analysis between values of this home and the homes in the area before and after renovation. The renovation got him thinking. He wanted to share the property with others, so he turned to Airbnb. I have not seen a property such as this even available to be lived in by the general public and shared in this way. So other people who are um, historic preservationists, people who are into urban planning, people who are into African American studies, whatever their race may be, mm -hmm. um, they're drawn to this place if they want to stay in Baltimore. At the very base, at the very beginning, there are some um, well-educated black individuals who have also, uh, you know, requested information and requested bookings. But most people who have booked the place so far are people who are very interested in just being in a historic property. The house also allowed him to showcase another passion, black art. This is a To the Mountaintop from um, Martin Luther King from Romare Bearden. It's a fine art print. It's Jacob Lawrence's, um, and God created the day and the night, and God put the stars in the sky. Throughout the home, you'll find a mix of old and new. The renovations had to meet strict codes to adhere to the National Historic Register. In Fells Point, I'm Charles Robinson for Your Money and Business.